Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be taking the 6000 XP down and replacing it with the 12000 XP. Let's get started. So getting started, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna label all of our wires. This has been a temporary installation up to this point, but we're gonna go ahead and, and label all of our wires uh, that we have in place so we can easily transfer those over to the 12,000 XP. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is on the side here, you're gonna see several screw slots. There's one here and you've got another one here. Likewise on this side, one at the top, one at the bottom. Go ahead and remove those screws. Once you do that, we're gonna be able to remove the panel. It just slips out and down. I have a good labeler here and I would recommend that you get a good labeler. The thing I really enjoy here is cable wrap, as you can see, and cable flag. With the cable wrap, this will literally create for us a label that we can take and wrap around our pre-existing cable or we can take the cable flag and actually create a flag that will wrap around and then come off as a flag. This is the Brother Labeler. It's the P-Touch Edge Series T77H298. You can use different sizes. You can use incredibly large output labels or small. To get started, we'll hit our uh, power button. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a cable wrap. And it is ready to go. Notice it still says cable wrap. So this is going to be our B-A-T-T, -T, and we'll say positive or plus. Right here on the, on the far edge. Click the plus and there it is. Print right here. It has a consecutive series of bat plus that will now wrap around our cable. As you can see, it really turns out nice. It's labeled and identified real well. And we're gonna go ahead and carry that across the rest of these wires so that we will know uh, where they go back to. There's no confusion. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, we have successfully applied our labels on here. We can wire this in with no confusion and make sure that we've done it correctly okay guys now we've got our labeling done correctly we're ready to now move on to the transition of turning the electric off unplugging the electrical here all right guys so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and initiate the shutdown procedure um, for the 6000 xp we're going to first uh, disconnect our house power so the house is now uh, disconnected. Next, we're gonna disconnect our grid power. The grid is now disconnected. We're gonna come over to the PV, the photovoltaic right here. Remember, this is your cutoff switch, and we're going to cut that off. We'll come up here and just confirm. The battery is, is now the battery. See, it's a good thing we checked this. The battery is still showing voltage right there. 600 amps is what the battery is showing. So what we're gonna do is make sure to shut down our battery bank as well. All right, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and there's six. All of our lights on our batteries are not on anymore. No SOC, no online. The batteries are shut down and the inverter has followed. Uh, for good measure, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the battery breaker as well just to double check and for safety because we don't want anyone getting electrocuted. All right guys, so uh, let's go ahead and take our meter out. If you don't have a meter, highly recommend a good meter. Again, uh, we're using a cost-effective meter here. <clears throat> Mailon MY2600D meter. It's available on our Amazon link as well. All right, what we're gonna do now because we're working with direct current, we're gonna go down here to the V that you see here on the bottom, that's for voltage. And we're, right now it says AC. We're gonna press select and make sure it says DC. That's direct current. All right, looking on our meter, positive and negative. It says we have 1.7, 1.6. So 
so very minimal. It's draining down to nothing, 1.5, 4. So it's draining down to nothing. I would recommend that you let that just go ahead and drain. Now we're going to switch this select button to where it says AC. And we want to double check that our alternating current from the power company is also shut down. You don't want to shock yourself. As you can see here, up. Oh. 122.9 what does that mean the breaker's off guys but the breaker outside is not off we would have shocked ourselves that's why we always use the meter here again labeling i love labeling but if you see your grid power to inverter this is from the power company to the inverter this is from the electric company this is going to that we're just going to shut it we're just going to shut that down and we should now be reflecting that there is absolutely no alternating current coming into the system so I'm just going, going to go ahead and take some electrical tape here, cover this. Take our other one out here. And I would just go ahead and cover these up also. You can never be too safe. I'm using a uh, electrical screwdriver here. It's got a plastic piece as well that's covering the blade of the screwdriver. Keeps it from grounding out, shorting out, connecting anything that doesn't need to be connected. Again, we're just going to go ahead and all right, fix those two. Connect these together to keep all of our wire sets together. They are labeled. Alright guys, that's down. I'm going to go to remove these rails. 